Are you a type one diabetic or a type two diabetic? Do you have LADA or MODY? Are you sure? Every year, thousands of people are misdiagnosed as type one, type two, MODY, LADA, diabetics, misdiagnosed. And so that's a big deal because if you're not diagnosed properly, then your doctor's not going to know how to treat you properly. This video is gonna tell you about the one test that you need in order to be able to tell, are you type one, type two, M-O-D-Y, L-A-D-A. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician with 20 years of clinical practice. And I hate it when a, a diabetic is misdiagnosed with the wrong type of diabetes. There are certain medications for type one that are inappropriate for type two. There are certain medications that are great for type two that are inappropriate for type one diabetics. So it's very, very important that you're diagnosed properly. Many, many doctors out there will diagnose you based on an assumption. You'll have high blood sugar and a high hemoglobin A1C, and then they basically look at you based on your age and say, oh, you're a type one or you're a type two. Problem is this is inappropriate and it often leads to misdiagnosis. Now it's not a very common thing, but if it's your case of diabetes we're talking about, then it's quite the big deal. The test I'm talking about is a C-peptide test. It is a proxy marker for the amount of insulin that your pancreas is making. And if your pancreas is not making any insulin whatsoever, then you're a type one diabetic or an MODY or an LADA. And I'm gonna put links to the different types. So in case you're not sure which kind you have or what the different types are, you can do a few minutes of reading and you'll know exactly what they are. So if a diabetic comes into a doctor's office and they're 45 years old and they've never had diabetes in the past and the doctor checks an A1C and it's high, it's seven, eight, nine, 10, well, they're diabetic. And so the doctor then just assumes, well, since they're 45 years old, it's not gonna be type one. And many doctors don't even know about MODY or LADA. And so you're a type two diabetic, even though your pancreas is no longer making insulin. They can put you on every pill and injection for type two diabetes out there. And until they start you on insulin, your diabetes is going to be out of control. And the reason that's such a big deal is that anytime your blood sugar is even a little bit high, you're doing permanent damage to all the tiny arteries in your body, the arteries in your eye, in your heart, your brain, your toes, other body parts that you'd like to keep working. And so it's, it's very, very important that your doctor know which type of diabetes you have. If you have type two diabetes and you truly have type two, then that's completely reversible. Type one, however, is currently not reversible and you'll need some amount of insulin depending on how many carbohydrates you eat in order to keep your diabetes, keep your blood sugar under control. It's, uh, it happens that older people develop an autoimmune type one type diabetes and some people call this MODY, some people call it LADA. Doesn't matter what you call it, what's important is that your doctor knows and therefore you know that you're not making insulin anymore and you'll have to have some amount of insulin in order to achieve blood sugar control. So if you've been diagnosed as a diabetic in the past, but you're not 100% certain if they checked a C-peptide, it's worth a call to your doctor's office right now and say, hey, could you email me over the copy of my C-peptide test? And if the um, healthcare worker there says, oh, we didn't do one of those, then your next question is obvious, but it should be, well, then how do you know I'm a type one or a type two? You just assume that? I hope they didn't, I hope I'm wrong. I hope they checked to see peptide, but it's very commonly not checked. If this video helped you a little bit, then please consider clicking the subscribe button and the little bell button right beside it so that every time I have one of these bright ideas, you'll be one of the very first people to know. And also, you can see how important this information is to a diabetic. I, I would be happy if you would share this video with a diabetic that you know, because there is a chance they've been misdiagnosed. This is Dr. Berry. I'll see you next time.